Hi everyone. Today we are going to start MANOVA, multivariate analysis of variance. First of all, we should understand what is the difference between ANOVA and MANOVA. Multivariate analysis of variance uh, is an extension of the univariate analysis of variance. That is ANOVA, right? It is a basically extension of ANOVA. MANOVA essentially tests whether or not the independent grouping variable simultaneously explains a statistically significant amount of variance in the dependent variable. So in this case, MANOVA, we have to check whether these two independent variables, when we are clubbing them, interaction of these two independent variables, how they are giving they are giving impact on dependent variable whether they are statistically significant or they are not statistically significant then second step we should know about this manova there is two category one way manova and two way manova in this case study we are doing only two way manova one way manova means when we have taken this one is the in the one way ANOVA, we have taken one independent variable, only one independent variable, or we can call it factor, right? And two dependent variable. Then there is one way ANOVA is applicable. But when we talk about two way ANOVA, there is two independent variable and two or more dependent variable. I'm sure you have gone through one of my video where I had already explained you difference between ANOVA, MANOVA, ANCOVA and MANCOVA. So just refer before starting this MANOVA video, please refer that one video that's the most important because then you will get to know where we are going to apply MANOVA, where we are going to apply MANCOVA. And uh, independent variables, now we will discuss about some assumptions when we had collected data that should be on which scale this data should be collected, right? Assumptions. Number one, DV is at interval or ratio scale. That means independent variables should be on continuous scale, right? It could be on the ratio scale or interval scale and that, that is continuous. IV stands for a this one is independent variables and we are collecting this data categorical. These this data should be categorical, right? Yes, no, zero, one, and whatever is the whatever is the uh, number you had assigned. Homogeneity of the variance, covariance will be test by box M test. We, I will show you how I have uh, test uh, how how I had applied. This one is the box M test to know the equality of the covariance and. Uh, that is to fulfill this assumption that is mandatory. This should be p value should be greater than 0 0.05. I will show you in my this case study uh, what is the box M test and uh, how this one is the equality of the covariance is greater than 0 0.05. That means we are fulfilling all the assumptions in this test and no multicollinearity. Multicollinearity means. Those are your independent variables. There should not be much, I mean, the correlation level should be very low. If there would be high, so that means results are not correct. Now we come to the, this one is the, uh, we, this is our objective in this case study to know interaction effect of section and senior junior level on quiz marks. I will explain you what I have taken as dependent variable, what I have taken as independent variable, these quiz, these quiz marks are my dependent variable. And this one is the section and senior junior level. These are two independent variables, right? So we would like to check interaction effect of these sections. I have taken three sections, section A, section B, section C. Senior and junior level means uh, I have defined there is uh, one means senior level, two means junior level. 
I will show you in my SPSS file uh, how I have defined. And quiz marks, I have taken three categories, quiz one, quiz two, and quiz three, right? This is my null hypothesis. This is my null hypothesis. In this null hypothesis, you could see here, what is my null hypothesis? No significant interaction effect of sections and senior and junior levels when taken together on quiz one, quiz two, and quiz three marks. That means we want to say there is no significant interaction effect. If we would club them, this one is the sections means A, B, C, D sections and senior, senior and junior levels, where the student belongs to senior category, senior section or junior section. So when we are taking together, so that is not giving any significant difference in Q1, Q2, Q3 marks. No significant interaction effect. Let's start in my SPSS file. First of all, you could see here, I have taken quiz one, quiz two, quiz three sections and senior and junior. So you could see here, let's say sections we would like to check. I have defined section A, section B, section C, right? You could see here. And senior, if we would like to know what is senior, what is junior, two I had given at for the senior section and uh, one I had given to junior section, right? That is already defined here. And quiz one, quiz two, quiz three are metric data. That is at the continuous uh, scale, right? These, this is not the categorical data, but both these things, section and senior and junior, this is the categorical data. You could see here, I have defined one, two, three, this one is the categorical data. Then I would like to show you how I have defined variables, quiz one, that is metric data, right? Quiz one simply, no need of the values, and that is at the scale. We will measure at the scale, ratio or interval scale. Quiz two, Quiz two, you could see here, and that was again on the scale. Quiz three, right, that is on the again scale. But section, when we talk about section, you could see here, I have defined level values also. One means class A, section A. One, two means sec class B. Three means class C. I have defined. Senior and junior, I have defined here. Here is one means junior section, two means senior section. And both these, because this is the categorical data and this is just an order. So I had defined it at the ordinal level, right? You see here. Now we would like to apply man MANOVA. So what we have to do here is we will click on analyze. After this analyze, we will click on general linear model and on the second option, multivariate, right? Multivariate after that, what we have to do, quiz one, quiz, quiz one marks, quiz two, quiz three. This is at the ratio scale, interval scale. So, uh, I mean, that would be ratio scale, dependent variables. These are my dependent variables, but section, and status, status means senior, whether they belongs to students in the, from the junior section or the senior section, we have shifted in our fixed factors. There is, I have not taken any covariate, so that is blank because I will show you one cova, whereas I will take one covariate also, how this covariate will influence these marks. Let's say we can take it gender, not sorry gender this one is that would be metric we have to take some 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 uh, this would be covariate then i'm going to define here after this what we have to do we have to click on model model full factorial model we are going to take then we have to click on okay fine contrast is also say plots right plots what we have to do section we have to we want a, a section right we will add senior junior then again we have to add um, now we have to take interaction of both these things right section a b c d section and senior and junior uh, level they belongs to so we want interaction of this so that is you could see here section senior and junior that is also reflecting then we will press continue yes post hoc also we have to take this one is also 
then Turkey's right we will take then we will press continue then options options we will take uh, display means for all three factors so here is i want descriptive statistics i want homogeneity test right so estimated of effect size also we can click on and compare mean effects so i will continue then i will press ok these are my results uh, see post hoc tests are not performed for status because there are fewer than three groups you know post hoc tests that could be applicable when there a there are more than three groups so now what we have to do these statistics you could see here i will copy these studies that could be more visible here in my output now you could see here look at here section one two three right class a class b class c total number of the uh, students 40 32 40 responses right junior section 37 and from senior section they are 75 these were then we come to the here is this is my descriptive statistics junior section right in quiz one class a section then further is this from the junior section, how many students? 11, senior section, 29. So total number of the students from the section A, you could see here, they are 40. Same is in quiz one, class B, 11 from junior sec, sorry, 11 from junior section, senior section 21, total number is 32. And that is also reflecting here, 32. Then further bifurcation of this 40 from section C, you could see here. Right. So in that way, then we come to the I had talked, I was talking about box test of equality of covariance matrix. So I'm, I'm I'm pasting here. Now you could see here box M text. Here is box test of equality of covariance matrix. That's the most important significance level I said in my assumption, it should be more than 0 0.05 and that is here. So that means we are fulfilling this assumptions also. This is the, I said homogeneity of the variance covariance will be tested by box M test of equality of the covariance P value should be greater than 0 0.05 and it is reflecting here. This is the significance value that is more than 0 0.30. Eight. I mean, I mean, point zero five. So this one is the point three zero eight. So that means this this one is the test test the null hypothesis that the observed covariance matrices of the dependent variables are equal across the group. So that is clear. Now we come to the multivariate test. Multivariate test significance value for the sections. For, because we have taken three three factors one is only section then is senior and junior level then interaction of these things so now again we will paste it here right uh, here is you could see here section all these values here is you could see here all these values are significant right significance level all are greater than here is you could see here all are greater than 0 0.05 that means all these things all these values are significant the statistics is an upper bound on F that yields a lower bound on the significance level. Now we, you could see here, one more important thing, right? All these Levine's test of the equality of the error variance, all are greater than 0 0.05. All three were quiz one, quiz two, and quiz three. Here is the, because that's the most important 
uh, all three, all these Pillai's trace, Wiki's lambda, Hotling trace, and and uh, Roy's largest root that should all four values. If the one value is the greater than 0 0.05, so all three, all rest of the three would also be greater than 0 0.05. So that means our uh, interpretation we can say here, we can say here, this one is the Pillai trace 0 0.05. So except the null hypothesis, all the, even not only we are talking about Pillai trace and uh, we will write here, there is a uh, Wiki's lambda. Here is VIX lambda. Here is VIX lambda is also. Like that is also greater than 0 0.05 and others also. So we can say it shows no significant interaction effect of sections and senior junior level when taken together on Q1, Q2 and Q3 marks. It shows there is no significant interaction effect of section and senior junior level when taken together on Q1, Q2, Q3 marks. So null hypothesis, what was our null hypothesis? No significant interaction effect of section and junior level. When taken together on Q1, Q2, Q3 marks, that is null hypothesis is accepted. So we will write here, that is accepted. That is accepted. Correct. And here is some more results has come over here. There's the some graphical representations also. Now you could see here, that is individual, I mean, this is the graphical representation, estimated marginal means of Q1, right? Section A, B, and C, that shows what is the estimated marginal means of quiz one. Then further is the, this one is the estimated marginal means of quiz one and it shows J strengths. This one is the blue line for junior section and this green line for senior section, right? And here is, this one is the, you could see here, estimated marginal means of quiz one, estimated here is junior section, right? And this one is shows the senior section. So in that way, uh, there is, uh, we again, we would say there is no significant interaction effect of section and senior junior levels when we are taking together on quiz marks, right? So in that way, we have to test our uh, hypothesis test. And when MANOVA we are going to apply, why we had not applied here ANOVA, we had applied MANOVA because here is two dependent variables and both were on the contain both were continuous variable and two independent variable both were categorical that is why we had applied multivariate analysis of variance i'm sure that would be helpful to you for your research studies so definitely in the next video i'm going to explain you Mankova. Here is no covariate I have taken, but I will show you in my next video how the co next covariate will give impact on our dependent variable. Thank you so 